Welcome to another riveting episode of the Hellion Rebellion Rock and Roll Association brought to you by the lovable, the huggable Holly Geist. Tonight we're doing everything Portland, Oregon. And when I say Portland, Oregon, I'm talking about a record label that is uh, was founded in Portland, Oregon, Nadine Records. I received the sampler uh, in the mail with a, uh, a record I bought from them, uh, what, uh, a band I consider their, one of their big flagship bands, Wild Powers, um, and I got the, the sampler with that record. Uh, I think you can buy this by itself off of Bandcamp or uh, go to Nadine Records' uh, website. Um, again, they were founded... Probably, I think, around 2015. I can't remember the woman's name who started this, but she's also in one of the other big flagship bands that come off this label, Nasal Rod. And uh, that's the band I'm going to play for you tonight. Or one of the bands, rather. I'm going to play two bands. Um, Nasal Rod, uh, again, they've been around since 2015. They are currently on tour or doing a lot of shows. And uh, that's all I have have to say about them. I mean, they're a relatively new band. I don't have any exciting historical facts about Nasal Rod. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and listen to Nasal Rod off of Nadine Records. There you go, Nasal Rod, off of Nadine Records, from Portland, Oregon. I don't know how to describe that. I, I love that. What is that? Is, is it... 
I, I don't know how to describe what kind of music that is. It's Buzz Oven meets They Might Be Giants or something. I, I don't know. Okay, the uh, second band I want to show you tonight is a, uh, a band that uh, kind of pulls at my heartstrings a little bit. Again, from Portland, Oregon. Uh, they are a hardcore band called Hair Puller. Uh, the, the reason I, I'm attracted to this band is because they, they do something that's very reminiscent of the mid to late 1990s and probably the early 2000s. And that they use uh, melodious hooks in their hardcore music, which back in those days, that is something we would have called emo. Um, not necessarily... I'm not saying that they're an emo band, <clears throat> but we would have called that an emo style. Uh, don't get me wrong, this isn't Fall Out Boy or My Chemical Romance or any of those those great, wonderful bands, but, you know, with their great, wonderful styles. But uh, in the early days, uh, there was a time where, where people would even, I mean, they would call Fugazi emo music. Uh, which was basically a uh, melodic hardcore or melodic post-punk. Um, and that's where that word started coming or showing up. And uh, Hair Puller, uh, even though they're, they're doing something very modern, they, they sound modern, there's there's moments where they, they sound like something I grew up with. So, again, without further ado, let's check out... Uh, Hair puller. shorter than I thought it would be okay um yeah hair puller is pretty interesting I, I, you don't really think of hardcore bands like that coming out of that area of of the United States you always think of Boston or Pittsburgh or something um but yeah there you go nasal rod and hair puller two other really great bands that come off of Nadine Records. Uh, I strongly recommend that you check this label out. Check out some of their bands. Um, and yeah, if you buy something, you will get this wonderful sampler CD. Um, I mean, if you're like me, you love compilations, samplers, soundtracks, and things like that. So... That's all I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I'm a little off my game, kind of tired. Uh, but uh, remember, reduce, reuse, and recycle. And I will see you later.